we go. Another day. Another drop. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, how are you all doing? Here it is again. Another Wednesday, another shave. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, we've got a good one lined up for you today. I'm filming this late. I got in from work later than normal. Uh, lay in the bed, fell asleep again. Guys, guys, I'll tell you, a long, tiring week. Anyway, here we go. Let's crack on with the shave. First off, the brush. Let me check that out. That is 26 millimeter. Green Lake Brush by Francois Bosset. We'll put that in the official John Shaves Super Soaker. Why do I like to show you that? In case you forgot what a cup looks like since last we met. Oh, I tell you, there you go. <laughs> the Aftershave Balm, look at this. Bought this in Spain. Gel Aftershave, non-alcoholic, aloe vera, hydrating, cooling aftershave gel. We've got that. There's the aftershave splash, Malaysia Umo, Malaysia Umo Vetiver. Can you see that? Vetiver goes very well with the um, <coughs> shaving soap that we've got today. Here we go. Signature soaps, Galava. This was very kindly given to me, gifted to me um, by Signature Soaps. I forgot his name. <laughs> I remembered it when I came, but he very kindly gifted me this. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to have a look at this. I put this in here myself. There you go. Absolutely wonderful. That smells of ylang lang and patchouli. And like I said, it goes very well with that aftershave and that gel. <clears throat> the razor. I think there's going to be blood. If you heard of the Yaki Beast, it's an aggressive sucker. This is the slant version of the Yaki Beast. There it is. Um, hyper, hyper aggressive. Probably is going to be blood. We're going to stick a rainbow blade in that. These were very kindly gifted to me by Steve. Thank you, Steve. Uh, I like these blades. I like these blades a lot. Oh, well, now I've said that. Probably gonna get sliced, aren't I? Probably gonna get sliced. There's the blade. I get that for you. Super monic there, can you see it? It says super class blade made in Egypt. There you go. Oh so there you. I fell asleep. I don't I normally just lie on the bed and you know, doors for a bit, but this was like full on out like a light. Fell asleep, woke up when my wife and daughter came back. Uh, and now they've had to pop out. So I've come in here to film my shave. Let's have a look. <clears throat> oh my word. Take a look. Can you see that? Um, yeah. Let's have a do. <laughs> Let's have a do with the beast from the east. Here we go. I'm gonna wet the face. I'm gonna have a sup, a cup, a sup, a sup of coffee. Here we go. Ethiopian Sadamo. Cheers. Oh, that's good stuff. Right, and then let's crack on. We know this is going to produce, don't we? We do because I've used signature salts before and it is top notch, top, top quality stuff. Good stuff. I'll try and put a link below if I remember for uh, signature salts. I can smell it now the minute the water hits it, the scent strength. I'm going to put this at about five. Bearing in mind, guys, I forgot I had this. I've had this in there for about a year uh, and I think it's still. We don't really need, I'll tell you right now, that's very, yeah, very, very slick signature soaps, a top, top performer, really is. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, I think it stayed at about a five, but 
Mm. The projection of the scent seems to have popped out. We'll dip that. Get it in there. But I mean, look at this. Absolutely wonderful. And we're going to need, aren't we? We're going to need that slickness and that hydration. We'll dip the tips again. Yeah, we're going to have a feeling with this. With this razor, we are going to need all the protection we can muster. Oh, so how have you been? How's your week going so far? We're doing okay. Just been busy. It's not too bad in work, but busy with stuff out of work, you know. Fetching and carrying and running people here and there and yeah there you go so here we go i don't know any i don't know any details about this as regards blake wow just a little bit of that soap on there and that was so slick here we go can you see can you see the slant oh here we go. <laughs> oh my word. Oh guys. That, that's one seriously aggressive beef. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to be careful with this one guys. Please let me know in the comments below what your shave of the day is. Let me know what you think about this shave. Good and bad. I think there's going to be blood here. I can feel this. I need, do you know what, I'll be honest with you, I need to test this out with a non smooth blade. Uh, I like these blades. I don't think I've got a duff blade here. But this is mega, mega. This is mega aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think. I think the blade is behaving a little bit like a feather blade. It's extremely rough and it's extremely tuggy. We'll see how we go on in the second pass. Yeah, wow. It is. very very rough okay first pass done <laughs> oh my word <laughs> look at this already one pass we could leave that there oh my word okay yeah so there hasn't a lot happened since last we spoke Bed and work, bed and work, you know. Uh, I got a lot of um, good feedback from that hair list. She was excellent, so again, thanks, Dad. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, yeah. Yeah, that blade's smoothed up now. Yeah, that blade's smoothed up now. So 
We're going to get a good. I still think there's going to be blood though. This is a hyper, hyper aggressive. And people will naturally say, How does it compare to the R41? I think they're both as equally aggressive, but from memory, from memory, the last time I used this. I got a very rough shave then. So I'm wondering if if this head is uh, faulty or it's just not holding the blade right because it's as aggressive as the R41 but whenever I use my R41 I always get a smooth shave. It's, it's never this rough, so I don't know. This soap is wonderful. Brian from Signature. How are you doing, Brian? Uh, someone said to me, John, I like when you put little clips. <laughs> you put the little clips on the front of your video. Well. I'll do that, but uh, it's got to be somewhere kind of interesting. For the most part, I go to pretty boring mega factories, you know. And if I'm not working inside. I'm usually just dropping off at the engineering stores, you know. I can't film inside. I go to some pretty, pretty interesting one. I go to one that put all the bells and whistles on police cars. And I work inside one that produces food for the packaging industry. I also go inside and work inside Dr. Orca, you know, they make the pizzas and so on. I work inside a chemical plant. Doing that one tomorrow. Well, today, as you're seeing this, I'll be there today. That's, that's a big, hard, heavy one. Uh, uh. But it's just life, isn't it? Yeah, that's very... It is very, very rough. I think that's a reason I don't use this razor, you know. Very... <laughs> I'm being very careful. I'm not speaking while I'm doing that. Hey, we did okay. I know there's some... Pickups, look at this. I hate filming lately. You know, when I get in from work like this because I'm so tired. Um, oh. And the thing is, I'm not probably look at this falling all over the place. Mm, look at that. Absolutely BBS. We'll do that. We'll do that. Well, and there wasn't a lot there, was there? Yeah. We've just got, yeah, we've just got the usual suspects. Uh, this is going to be a close shave, this guys. So, like I said, let me know what your shave of the day is. Let me know if you've used the Yaki Beast. Let me know if you've used the Twisted Beast. Let me know what you think about anything. In the shed. Thanks for all the likes and the comments on the videos, guys. It really does help the channel out. Okay. Now we've got the Wednesday shave. It's always a bit of a flyer. It's always really kind of like a tick over shave because. 
if I'm really tired on a Friday, I'll just film the shave on a Saturday morning. But with it being the end of the week, the Saturday shave, with it being at the end of the week and so on, I've always got a little, bit, a little bit more energy, a little bit more fizz about me, you know? Here we go. Let's do the lean and look at that, guys. There is not a single hair. We did okay, didn't we? That is absolutely BBS. That really is. Here we go. We'll put some of this aloe vera gel on. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Flubber. Flubber or kryptonite or something. Oh, but there, it smells, guys. It smells like lovely, fresh green soap. Oh, with aloe vera and and it goes straight into your skin. Oh man, feels just like skin food. It's pretty good stuff. I think we bought that. We bought that when we went to Spain. Uh, and it's been sat there. We've been sat there for years. I was looking. I was looking for this. That was gift off Stuart George. I was looking for this and I found that and I thought we've not used that for a while. Let's get it on there. Here we go. There's going to be some burn, guys. Uh, no, there isn't. Wow. Wow, we look at that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm sure there's alcohol in that. Nothing. So taking my time, going gentle, being extra careful, must have paid dividends. Because that is a good shit. I've had a couple of those in a row now, haven't I? I'm doing okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your time. Oh, please click like and subscribe. It's the best way to help channel support the channel. Look after yourselves and each other. Uh, and go on. Remember, be the change you want to see in the world. And then you've changed the world, haven't you? We'll change the world one person at a time. Look after yourselves and I will see you on Saturday and we've got a good one lined up for the Saturday shave. Bye.